I, I look, I swear to God, I don't want to smile. I don't want to laugh at this. But if I don't laugh, I genuinely might cry. Manchester United, they're losing 3-1 against Arsenal at the Emirates. Within the space of, what, four or five days, we've had to sit there and listen to Liverpool fans at Anfield cheering our warm-up sarcastically and now you're hearing Arsenal fans cheering every United pass or Arsenal pass sarcastically oh my dad what a ridiculous week for United that's our I mean our season was already done anyway right our season was game set and match done after that Liverpool game and I think it was done before that game where do you start what do you say that hasn't already been said United you think you can't get any lower and they just keep showing you don't underestimate how low United can go an absolute abomination of a defensive performance that was only made was only outshone by how crap the refereeing was today you can't not mention it that wasn't a foul okay it looks like a foul to me that wasn't a penalty despite the fact that Cedric went down and crawled like a dog and then put his hand away that's not that's not and it wasn't that wasn't a foul on Ilanga either I'm not going to talk I'm not, I'm not going to focus on that too much at all it has to be pointed out how absolutely abysmal the refereeing was today but it also has to be pointed out that that's just fucking Manchester United at the moment. Eric Ten Hag must be looking at this and wanting to slap everybody upside the head. The defending for the first goal. Varane misses the header. Tellez kicks thin air. Delo doesn't chase his, doesn't follow the runner in. Tavares makes it 1-0. Oh, my God. That game, United hit the post. We hit the crossbar. We had two penalties turned down. We missed the third penalty. Bruno Fernandes, wow, we're definitely going to talk about his performance. Arsenal... They could, Arsenal were crap. Any team of any worth would have pumped them in that first half. A bit like Everton away the other week. Yeah, but they, but we were creating chances left, right and centre because of how bad we were creating chances for them. So because of how bad our defending was. But even, even, the, even the second goal they got, Tellez, they looked... It looked I think I'll be annoyed if that one wasn't given against United. It's not my biggest gripe of the whole game. But Jesus Christ, man. What? This United team just keeps on surprising you in all the wrong ways. Early kickoff on Saturday. God damn it. Not ruining my weekend because I expected it. We're looking at a single positive today. Ronaldo showed in that first 30 minutes just how incredibly strong he is mentally as a professional. Absolutely incredible that Christian... Let me move that over there. Lovely. That's nice and central. Absolutely incredible that Cristiano Ronaldo came back after the week that he has had to put in the performance that he put in in the first 30 minutes. Great link-up play, great goal. The only person inside that squad that has that mentality, man. It must be. I don't... Oh, my God. Look, you can't not talk about Bruno Fernandes' performance in that game, man. I'm the biggest of Bruno fans. And I stand by the fact that it was... I, I like the fact that he's going to be here in the long term. But, Jesus, he has had a crap season by comparison. He seems to be more of a liability than an asset at the moment. For a player of that quality, it's what you're doing, Bruno. That penalty. That's where the game changed. Of course, that's where the game changed. 2-1. We got that. 2-2. Two -two. Game on. Arsenal, they just didn't look up. At, it looked like any team with any real worth could have easily put Arsenal to the sword in that game. Their defence was equally as bad as Manchester United's. I listed all the chances there. Hitting the post, Delo hitting the post, hitting the crossbar, two penalties turned down, one of which should immediately, a million percent. Let me just go back to that, man. How in the fucking world is that not a penalty? It wasn't as if Cedric fell down and he fell down there. He fell down about five yards behind that and then went on some mountain climber crawl to put his arm in the way of the pool at Sancho. And there was no, VR didn't look at that. VR took five minutes to look at Tellez fouling, was it Saka? Didn't even look at that. Absolutely outrageous officiating today. And as I said, the only thing that overshadowed that was the outrageous defending. Ralph Radnick, he was brought in to shore up our defence. And I think he'd done that to a certain degree at the start, but then our creativity was a bit stifled. But the way this United team play now, man, Eric, you better be the miracle, man. I swear to God, you, you, you need to do so much to this squad to bring that mentality anywhere near towards where that Ronaldo mentality is because they're just, there's so much. I've always said, I would not be upset I genuinely for the life of me. I would not be upset if our entire defense was sold. Varane, he hasn't been the player that we wanted to this season. I'm not going to throw him under the bus because I think he'll come back next year, but Varane's been bad this season and I wouldn't, 
If we were to replace him, I wouldn't be upset if he left. Maguire, you know what I think about Maguire. Lindelof, Bay, Jones, Delo, and Tellez today. Jesus. Are they professional footballers? Answers on a postcard. I don't think so. Alex Tellez, we signed him from Porto when he was playing Champions League football. What are you doing today, Tellez? Jeez. If it wasn't for that goal, oh, 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 come on. What are you doing to me, United? Seriously. It's a joke. As I said, it, like the different stages of grief. You know, after, after the games against Leicester and Everton, and you saw that this team really didn't have a spine. Invertebrate. That's what this United team are. And it just it, it, it angered you because you're there as a fan going, the top four is there for anybody that really wants to chase it. But instead, they let it go. They let it go. And then we had the game against Everton. Psst. Ridiculous. And then we had the game against Liverpool. Wounded, shot. United fans were all on the floor. Because United are on the floor. And that's why we need Eric Ten Hag to come in and steer the ship. And Ralph Rannick speaking before that. I'm doing a separate video on this because I feel so passionate about how important Ralph Rannick is for weeding out the problems at this club. Nobody's got more hands-on experience than him. We need him, and we need so many of these players. So many, that so much of this squad gone. Bruno Fernandes today, probably the particularly poor player. Scott McTominay being Scott McTominay in the middle of, the, of midfield, but I can't get too annoyed with Scott McTominay because we've got no other fucking midfielders. What's the point in getting angry at somebody if you can't replace him with anybody? It's pointless. You would probably get phased out at United, but it's just a sign of the times that the fact that we haven't invested in our midfield means we have to rely on someone like Matomane to come in. That's not technically his fault, but it is a sign of the club and the club's position. But come on, man. Like This Arsenal team, they're the softest of underbellies, man. The softest. Tavares, Cedric was getting skinned by Sancho. Well, we had so much opportunity in that game, but our defence just... Come on in. Come on. You want to score a goal? Come on in. Do whatever you want, because we're not going to defend. And then we're talking about bad refereeing decisions, of which there were absolutely plenty of them. One, two, three to start with. Have you seen the photo of um, David De Gea trying to see the ball around Nketiah when uh, Xhaka makes it 3-1? He's literally... He's trying to look round him. Ah, but it's all right. Nketiah's in offside position, but he's not affecting play. Of course he's affecting play. He's standing in De Gea's... Like... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. As I said... I wouldn't talk about the officiating, and I've talked about the officiating quite a lot. But that was a game of ridiculous officiating, even worse defending from Manchester United. And at the time when we needed Bruno to come up with the goods there to hit that penalty into the back of the net to change the course of the game, he missed. And as soon as he missed, any sort of onus that United had in that game sort of disappeared with him. He's had a season to forget by the standards that he himself set at Manchester United. And I'll tell you one thing, right? I wish to God that we had had a Cristiano Ronaldo at this club this year who only had to play one game a week. Today, he looks sharp on it. Absolutely everything you would expect of Cristiano Ronaldo. We've overplayed him because Cavani's decided to be on holiday when he wants to play, be, and then injured for the rest of it. And we sent Martial out on loan, and Rashford's lost himself. So we literally only have Cristiano Ronaldo. It would have been such a different season, I think, if he had only had to play one game a week, and we saw that today. But my God, man, I'm just... You know how kids like, the kids got the advent calendar. Oh, Christmas is coming. I'm like the reverse of this. I'm, I'm waiting for the season to end. I'm like one game gone. Please, another game gone. Who have we got next? Oh, Chelsea. Fun fact. We're going to get pumped by Chelsea too. That's four goals we conceded against Liverpool. That's three goals we conceded against Arsenal. 7-1 we have lost this week. This season, oh my God, man, this season promised so much at the start. And I think that's the ultimate disappointment here from where we were at the beginning of the season to, as I said, still staggers me to think that I actually genuinely thought we were one midfielder away from competing to the capitulation that we've seen here. We all know it's on the shoulders of the players. You can try and blame Ralph if you want. I won't. This is on the players. This is, there's so many of them are checked out. The fact that we're bringing Matter and Lingard on and Matic is on the pitch. I'm done with them. Um, I'm done with so many. I'm done with this whole defence. Can we stop fucking defending properly? Jeez. 3-1 against Arsenal. Could have been more. Should have been more from United. So many opportunities. So much bad refereeing. But ultimately, we deserve what we got. Again. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's past the point of anger or sadness. I don't know what it is now. It's like some weird acceptance of how crap United really, truly are.